Great. Hello, everybody. So let's do it today. Today is mm, uh, topic number two of our journey of all the new table tennis era. So today's topic, as you already know, is equipment. And I'm going to start with this beautiful blade that we all know that has started the EG, EJ um, discussion all over the internet. And if we are talking about equipment, first of all, we need to talk about also about uh, rule changes. The most important are the first one. So the change from 38 uh, millimeters celluloid ball to the poly or plastic 40 millimeters ball. Of course, in the meantime, we had the, the change of size from celluloid to celluloid and then from celluloid to, to plastic ball, which is a, a shame and a pity in, in my opinion. ITTF done just a horrible job. They just took the money, you know, from someone because let's be honest, it's only about the money. So they practically stole it out of our pocket. Why it's like that? Because I was able to buy a, a, a good uh, celluloid ball for like 10 cents, 20 cents. And now I have to pay one dollar for a good poly ball. So it's a thief in the uh, uh, in the white gloves, as they say. And the second thing is uh, the glue band, the speed glue band. Uh, we all know that the, there was this this guy in in in, in Japan who, uh, unfortunately. Uh, inhaled the the, mm, the toxic glue and he passed away uh, and due to this fact ITTF the lovely organization ITTF has banned the glue but as nature uh, never leaves uh, gaps or holes uh, equipment producers started to uh, mimic the feel and effect of speed glue on their new rubbers that and thanks to it we have the great tenergy which is like three or four times uh, more expensive than the popular driver uh, yeah what can i say money 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 and uh, I don't know if I have mentioned money. Okay, so I think those are the t the two main factors um, that that have changed equipment and uh, the main force behind those uh, changes or the main force behind the, the the new standard of equipment is da 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 China. It is mostly China. Uh, well, now you might ask me, well, but you know, this kata is from Butterfly, Butterfly is from Japan. It is true, it is true, but this kata is popular only because of Chinese players. Most of all, uh, the one and only Jan Jitka, the greatest Chinese table tennis player of all time. Uh, yep. And the second thing, of course, for the Chinese guys is the same rubber on forehand that everybody uses. I mean, everybody in China, every freaking one of them, even the, the women, or doesn't matter, junior, uh, cadet, senior, male, female, left-handed, right-handed, looping, defender, everybody's using it the same rubber forehand because basically we are uh, we want pretty much the same thing on, on, on forehand side we want something reliable fast yet with a great touch 
Yeah, this is this is what 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 provides what what uh, the the famous national sponge uh, rubber provides. And the feel it's the the feel is in the blade, you know. The rubber has to be a little bit transparent, you know. If you want to change if your feel in the ball, it's all, it's absolutely all, or maybe 80, 90 percent in a blade, you know. And the rubber needs to be needs to be needs to. Well, what it needs to be. I will talk in in few minutes. So what why why China is 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 dominating so much? Well, first of all, they are more clever than us the European guys. They they know that if they want to be the best, they need to put a lot of money. This is the first thing. Second thing they need to unify you know they need to be one so if i have great guy from uh, from one in one province and then the other great guy from other province we don't like each other but we will pay for them to play uh, together to be the best in the world because at the end it is china who will win the gold medal and not some kind of province so they are smarter they have put more money into into developing equipment and equipment is a great great advantage for them so who we have here yes here we have mr valichin and let's see what his rubbers can do hmm, so it's a popular trick Okay, okay, nothing special here. No. Holy shit. Ooh, that is. Now, try to do it with your equipment, yeah? Try to do it with your equipment. Uh, it will not happen. It will not happen. So, what it gives to you, this kind of tacky, tacky rubber, you know? Well, first of all, what it gives you, it gives you a lot of power when you hit it and soft touch when you, you, when you are using soft touch. The problem with modern 10RG or 10RG based rubbers is that the, this is, it, it's a wobbly, as I call it, it's a wobbly rubber. If you touch it softly, it will wobble. If you touch it really hard, yes it is the speed is great you know accuracy is uh, but for sure there's a lot of a lot of spin and speed into energy but the short game is not existing basically what you need to do with the with the if you have 10 energy you need to have really slow blade and this is why we are we european guys uh, western guys are different than the china the basic concept of Chinese table tennis equipment is that you need to have very very fast blade and a slow tacky rubbers mainly on forehand backhand is a little bit different because the, the forehand movement is is pretty much the same for for everybody in China let's say pretty much uh, there are some exceptions like Hao Shui. Um, yeah, I can think of him right now from top of my head. But all the others are using the same stroke. Fast on legs, very strong legs, as I said in my previous video. Very open rackets, very very open. It's like hitting a ball with a f with a flat surface. But then you're using your legs, you're pivoting your hips, you are you're using your uh, your your whole extended arm to attack the ball, and you're going from low to high. You're brushing the ball with the open racket. This is what gives an incredible speed and incredible spin, 
and what is the most important is safety uh also thanks to this tacky rubber uh, you can you can you know you can um put back into play with your top spin balls that are very very low you know under the surface of the table without any problem because <coughs> the tackiness of the rubber will will the, the 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 ball will glue to the to the rubber and you'll be able to put it back on the table uh, which with 10 energy it will be or with other any other rubber it will be difficult because the ball will bounce out of the uh, out of the table believe me been there done that shit uh, if you don't believe me try for yourself and the most uh, and as I said the most um, technical uh, uh, Chinese technical abilities that is uh, due to the tackiness and to the uh, to the um, equipment advantage of the rubbers is that they can use the soft touch soft short play to their advantage and they are using it like hell you know the serve is something different because the service is not only the rubber but also greatly technique and there are in my opinion mm, better servers outside China uh, Shushin said that the best server in, in the world is Par Geller uh, and I think he's, he, he's right the, the Par Geller service is amazing uh, then we have guys like Tristan Fleur uh, who is just amazing amazing his service is he can trick everybody with his service including Malong and all the China guys his service is amazing hypnotizing high throw and then this close to the body close to the belly contact with the blade when he can just make it all the same but at the same time it's it is different amazing amazing simply amazing and of course da -da 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 -da, mr dimitri of charov yep he's one of the best servers in the world trust me but his service is for purpose but it will be in in another uh, movie in another film from me uh, so speaking of of mr ofcharov and uh, china guy let's see what it gives you the tacky rubber the tacky rubber will give will give you incredible spin in simple incredible spin in a short game in a looping game absolutely in everything when the technique is correct you we already know it uh some 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 things to to uh to show to you so we have mr da -da 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 -da, mr ofcharov and mr fan zendong look at that finger hmm everybody will say that it's a bad technique but not me i will show you why is this is a good technique but in another video so mr ofcharov and mr Fuzz and dog. So we can see Mr. Fuzz and dog as usual distracting opponent, saying, "Oh, there's a lot of dust on my new uh, $100 rubber. Let me clean this out, so you can reconcentrate for your service or deconcentrate on your service." But it's not this. Let's just let's just see this. Okay. Ooh, so what happened? Let's see it one more time. Let's see it one more time. So, off chairs will be serving this tomahawk serve, forehand serve, when he will be trying to, to make it look like a down spin or, or down spin or side spin, but it is loaded with down with down spin, okay? And Fuzz and Dog knows about this, so he will play uh he will cut this ball right from a bounce you know this is also a technical advantage of of, of china that they are taking the ball off the bounce and cutting it you know and this is why they have the extra spin also 
thanks to their technique, not also the, the duckiness of rubber. So let's see. Duck. And he just lifted it up, you know. The, the movement was as he would lift it up. But at the same time, he just brushed it, you know. He brushed it to make it look like if he would uh, 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 lift it up. But then he also put more backspin. And it was deceiving for Ovcharov, who thought that he's lifting his his uh, his downspin. Look at this, tuck, he's lifting it, and then Ovcharov is trying to to push the ball, but to push the ball also for a short game. But he was surprised simply by amount of downspin, and the ball is not even touching the the, the white. Uh, part of the net the upper side of the net why because this is the this is so deceiving uh, the spin out of the the tackiness rubber that you think that there's only a little bit of spin but in fact there's a lot of spin and the movement you might think that it is lifting the ball but since Fanzendong is taking it so early you can see that he's taking it so early Tuck, the ball is the ball is still in the upward mm, movement from from uh, on the Fanzendong side, and Fanzendong is his movement is like is if he would lift the ball, but what truly happened is that he put this ball, uh, he put his racket in front of him, and he it likes the the move. The movement is as he would uh, uh, give back, you know, the the ball without any rotation. But in fact, due to the to his early contact with the ball and 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 also that he his um, his racket is moving into open direction, uh, he is putting more downspin, and this is so deceiving for a person who is not. Um, who is not seeing this kind of uh, behavior on his daily training because uh, let's be honest uh, Ovcharov is not training every day with the Chinese uh, national team so this is why simple loss of a point this is crazy simple loss of a point yeah but on the uh, but again uh, missing the easy shot because of amount of spin that tacky rubbers is able to produce this is amazing 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 oh the same match by the way this was incredible match simply incredible match uh let's be honest of charif was better player that day he should have won the third game was in my opinion it was uh, not very fair play, you know. Uh, Father Dog should should have said that uh, the, 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 the should repay the point, you know. It, it was uh, it was bad for Dima. Okay, but let's check this out. Okay, here is an interesting situ situation. So Dima is playing his uh, service. His, it's not long, not short serve. It is very deceiving serve because of the way he's playing it. So Fazendok is a little bit surprised. And he, yep, even that he's surprised, he was able to put it back in a short way with a lot of downspin. And Ovcharov couldn't attack it. You, see, you can see it. Ovcharov was already wanting to, he was, he wanted to attack the the third ball yes look look so he serves tuck in a different can you see this movement Fanzendong was going to his habitual f uh, uh, flick from the back end side the banana uh, from back end side oh, from from back end on his forehand side but then Dimitri has completely changed the uh, the, the placement and Fanzendong was going this direction and he had to do backstep. 
And since he was off balance, the only thing that he could do, but he was because he was too late and he was off balance, he could put it. He could only put it on the other side, you know, of the table. But let's uh, let's let's be just uh, clear about this. This is fans and dunk, okay? That is not a, 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 a regular guy that you will see in your table tennis club. This is fans and dunk. So his off the guard placement of the ball and spin of the ball is incredible. And as I said, look at Dimitri, what he is doing. He is already going for the big shot on the forehand, you know? He's going for it. But then, tuck, what happened? The receive from Fanzan Dong was too good. It was loaded with a downspin, and Dimitri was playing really good game back then. So he knew that he cannot loop it, because if he, if he will try to loop it, it will go into the net. And he's going, he's trying to make this, this, uh, this game alive by giving the ball and look Fan Zendong didn't even need to move look whole table for Fan Zendong and uh, Ofcharev is a really bad situation because in his mind he know that he gave easy ball that this side of the table is clean so he has to move to this direction so in my opinion Fan Zendong should attack the longer uh, deep backhand of, of, of Dimitri to catch him uh, uh, miss miss uh, footed but uh, Fazan Dog was really surprised that that Dimitri of gave, gave him this easy ball and he missed this is a little bit stupid from Fazan Dog but hey it happens so let's see it one more time so that so Dimitri is trying to he know that he cannot so give the easy ball and here Fazan Dong was playing badly and he already know that he just fucked it up okay um, okay so let's just sum this up so we have those two uh, two um, sentences from the from the match when you can see where is the advantage of of uh, of, ta of tacky rubbers of course there is a plenty plenty of of examples like this you can you can you can you know already that there is much much more short uh playing that the uh, short game play that it was before in this guy's era you know i'm talking about waldner so this is also a good example where uh, Waldner in the beginning of his career he was only playing uh, difficult long pushes you know to be difficult for the for the opponent why because his rubbers were not so good and and, and he knew that if you push the ball in a, in a uh, with a good spin side spin or down spin it will be really difficult for your opponent yeah but then Chinese China started to develop the, the short game with the rubbers and he had to adapt so he also started to using to use look to use short game and it is very beneficial he had this magnificent short game touch that he was using and here's the same yeah. Malin yeah very good so Malin was using also his his uh, uh, his forehand magic to to make a difference and the service yep the service is amazing as we know from from mr. Joe Waldner this is not lucky and here tech yep okay and here is why I believe that that uh, Malin was not using Chinese rubber at that time that he was using European well the Japanese rubbers I'm not sure but 
you can see that in older uh, when Waldner was in his older in the second half of his career, he was he was starting to using this short game much more. But as I said, he was not known for this. He was known and he is still known for playing this w weird style uh, returns. So let's look a little bit. Heck, have you seen it? So, nowadays, what would you do? You will try to play short. Everybody will play it short. They will not try to push it. So here's a good short play. Can you see? I I think that Malin would 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 be able to to make a top spin out of this ball, you know? It was pretty, pretty long, you know? Yeah, but he didn't want to. You know why? Because it is safer. And now the modern players, after a such return from Malin, would not to try to play it long. They will try to keep it short, very, very short, you know? Trying to create the opportunity for the flick, for a backhand or for a forehand. But not Joe Waldner. Joe Waldner is playing his long push uh, normally with a little bit or very a little bit of side spin. So yeah, this is what he played here. And the end is known. So... Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? This is, this is the tactics that they have i think it's Hugo Young or Hugo Young with his uh, with his team that they started to play it safe thanks to the rubbers without any bounce you know with the great control they can play it really really low and on this screen you can see how low his his return was look look it's incredible malin it's incredible with so much downspin that for sure uh, even Joe Waldner would have difficulties to loop it back, of, or if he would loop it with the Japanese rubber, he, it's 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 a it's a margin call, you know. It, it's a very easy to to make a wrong decision and to loop and loop over the table, or to give a simple uh, um, a simple ball to th that Malin will just crush with his mighty forehand. So the last, let's check it the last time. You see? Okay, Malin is, is acting crazy here a little bit. Uh, but also, you know, have to know that Joe Waldner has a really difficult technique with his blocking. Uh, sometimes he blocks flat, you know. It's and he gives this this feeling that the ball ha is is it's it's a chop block basically, not as pronounced as the modern chop block from 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 Malong or from other guys but or from Sushin for example but it is the chop block uh, from the shake and mm, and this is why simply Malin just threw it into the net you can see okay 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 so let's go back to the first photo that I have showed to you this is the modern reference as far as blades go go uh, blade goes uh, this is this is bread and butter uh, like 80% of young uh, not too much 60% of young guys in China they are playing this uh, I have never been in China but I know guys who have been there they are talking about this openly on the forums and uh, they are talking about this Iskaria is the new Stiga or is the new butterfly Andrei Gruba it's the new reference or it's the new Primorak of Minus simply amazing amazing uh, okay pair it with the uh, hurricane and some energy on the backhand and it's a modern setup for success
with a good technique of course and about technique I'll talk a little bit later and Mr. Malong, Mr. 2015 and 2016 dominance uh, so we know that he's using the one and only rubber on forehand and on the backhand surprise surprise he also has the um, uh, tacky uh, chinese rubber mm, nice nice and mr janjika of course it started with him and uh, what i wanted to show to you by those pictures that on our forehand everybody has the same rubber so just ask yourself is it normal that everybody has the same absolutely the same rubber on the forehand either you are boy or girl senior junior or, or whatever there has to be a reason that they're using it and china can use everything but they are using the tacky uh, rubber on forehand <sighs> okay and of course it is giving the advantage it's like uh, with the uh, motorsport in motorsport look uh, look at formula one the guys are going two laps the, the guards are making uh, two laps with the fresh rubbers uh, uh, on a Saturday and uh, they are the quickest then they put the rubbers which are uh, a little bit worse and then they lose a lot really a lot and you have to understand that for the f at this level of playing losing a lot means losing a tournament a championship or uh, a game against your uh, adversary so this is why china is the best one of the factors okay this is great blade it is the blade that i'm using right now for a long time very long time i i've been using it with the wrong rubbers i've been using with the uh with the, this rubbers mr butterfly butterfly Oh, that was a really good time. Um, with, of course, Butterfly Tenergy 05 on forehand and Tenergy 80 on backhand. And it was the first thing, it was too fast for me and not accurate for me. After I have I've made a switch to, uh, when I went for the Chinese rubbers, everything started to make sense. And what I want to you, what I want, what I want to say to you at the end is that, first of all, I would recommend for you to change your blade to faster blade. If you are offensive player, just ditch your Primorak off minus or uh, or out plus blade and go for the offensive or offensive plus blade. From my op perspective and from my knowledge, the best are uh, what we can see here. So Butterfly, um, Primora Carbon, Viscaria, DHS, and pretty much all DHS blades are great. Then um, uh, Stiga uh, Clipper, offensive of course not the WRB or something, just the normal Stiga. And where's the secret? So the secret is that, but it's not a secret, it's, it, it's known, but like nobody is, is thinking about this or, or nobody at, at, at your level. The blade, the, the heavier the blade, the better it is. So if you want to have a blade, go for a blade that is at least 91 92 grams heavy this is the first thing the second thing what you need to do is to unglue the the handle 
inside the, the the handle in absolutely every every blade you will see that it is hollow a little bit and this hollowness you need to fill with lead yep you can buy lead in a ta in, in tennis stores just put this lead inside and then glue back the 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 handle now if you would ask me how much of lead of grams should i put inside i will say go with 10 grams so five grams on each side the lower it will be the better but the blade is hollow like this pretty much yeah so uh so 10 grams should be okay don't worry it will not be really really heavy it will be really heavy but since uh you you are uh, as aspiring uh player you want to be better you simply need to go with better equipment and you don't need to put a lot of money for it stiga clipper is really not ex expensive for the for the tacky rubbers don't buy the national bullshit or something like this buy either counter what i'm what i'm using now are the counterfeits chinese rubbers that are really really good the chinese counterfeits uh hurricane rubbers if you if you don't know somebody from from china because only in china you can buy it for a really low low price if you don't know nobody in china just go to forums and ask some good people there they will help you there are a lot there is a lot of good counterfeit uh rubbers chinese rubbers that are really excellent what you only need, will need to do is to pull a little, a little bit of booster on them but at the beginning don't boost them just do what I what I say buy really really fast blade put the lead inside 10 grams glue it back but glue it back with the good uh, uh, glue mm, something that will be really uh, uh, like in, in crystal you know don't use glue that is like rubber you know if you have the the polyurethane resin yeah something like that then use it the the the, the more uh, the, the, the basically the the, the 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 joint cannot be uh, like glue like uh, like rubber they need to be stiff as much as possible um, and then once you have this go to gym lose your weight and train as much as you can but how should you train with whom should you train what should you train how to lose weight how to prepare your body for table tennis this will be a topic for another video that I'll be making soon so well guys try to do it don't don't discourage yourself and try to put your heart and everything in table tennis stay tuned bye guys